hi Gemini as usual I was shoveling the cards and welcome back after your tea leaf reading I love doing the tea leaf reading because it, ma it makes me feel um, um, it takes doubt away as well um, we've got the knight of swords so definitely you are in your reading we've also got the hanged man upside down we've got the death card and we have the temperance card and we have the three of wands as the overall energy now we did have uh, quite a lot of uh, people in our uh, teacup uh, we had the jack of clubs and the jack of hearts we had the queen of pentacles and we had the five of wands we had the fool um, and we had the king of hearts and the Ten of Wands. So you might be going through a tough period, but you're definitely going to um, a, a better time. Also, I'm using the tea leaf um, oracle cards, and that will be like your extra oracle cards for each week, okay? Um, and I'm going on, when I was reading the tea leaf um, uh, uh, reading, I was talking about clover as being wands so I think definitely that has made an influence because you've got the clover the four leaf clover okay um, that is that is for that so definitely um, coming in at the beginning of June you had the knight of swords so you can check this back if this resonates to you if you have had news from the beginning of of june all the way up to now so this is also a nice way of reading cards not knowing what's happening before but looking back and making you think and uh, really think and to remember what happened in june perhaps it's an idea to keep a diary or check with your diary did you have news on the first or in the first week of june here you've got Gemini, we've got Libra, we've got Aquarius, so you could have met an other air sign and you might be conversing. Definitely thing, uh, things are happening pretty uh, quick because we also had the Eight of Wands in the teacup. Um, so um, like I said, save your energy as much as possible. Now we've got the boat here. So the boat is drifting and going with the flow. So go with the current. The boat means here money or property through uh, an inheritance winning or a windfall. So that could be the news that you might have had, that you had a wage rise or a promotion. Definitely because we have the Queen of Diamonds here. You might have started something um, in June and now you're hearing that there is something um, coming to fruition. We've got the Hanged Man upside down, so the delays are over. That does correspond with the boat and the uh, Eight of Wands and with the Ten of Wands uh, ending and a new beginning. With the four leaf clover means good luck. This is definitely that things are picking up and there's a new beginning with the ace uh, that we had. We had the ace of wands as well. So definitely, uh, let me just check. Uh, yes, no, we had the uh, we, I'm sure we had the ace, um, we had the, the fool, and we had the ace, but what ace was it? I'll have to re-watch the video, but definitely a ten, and that means an ending, yes, because we had a ten and an ace, the ace of clubs, that's it, so you see my brain hasn't uh, fright yet so definitely the ace of wands was here as well definitely better luck coming in in around the middle of the month um, definitely uh, I, my luck has changed uh, around my birthday my birthday was on the 15th 
and this is number 13 lucky number for me because it means friendship fellowship and it becomes a four so stability returns here you've got number 12 that's three so you've got three four so you are already going onwards and upwards we did have a five of ones here you might have had that uh, the competition uh, to beat the competition between the 10th and the 15th of the month so yes there's a stronger version coming out here as this is the death card you're no longer the caterpillar you're the butterfly so reach for the sky and fly and stay productive lily also very very um positive lily is like the lotus is another word for lotus so spiritual love uh, is around you also um in the lenamon the lily means good business luck we did have the fall sorry about the sirens and you are finding your balance back again again you've got scorpio and uh, sagittarius here death represents scorpio and temperance represents scorpio this is your opposite sign uh, gemini so definitely at the end of the month you will find your balance back more self-assured especially this is your first astrological calendar month and you're building up and you're letting go of the old that's the death and you've started your new period so that really shows up in your reading it's all about luck love money here's the heart love deep affection and caring your plans coming to fruition you saw me shoveling the cards you can't get a lay a spread like this uh, because i haven't sorted it out this is just the pure energy that's out there for you at this moment your plans are coming to fruition abundance is on its way it's already verified with the queen of pentacles a time is fertile definitely abundance is coming towards you you could also be traveling with the three of wands as usually you see ships in the in the background but you do have boats so some of you could be going on holiday and just take it tranquilo because you are in balance and you're sure of yourself so well done my darlings now i'm going to take um, the cards the answer of the angels as the overall answer from the angels and abundance is on its way there you go the angels are showing us abundance oh wow thank you angels I needed that Ooh, spiritual colors and love pink is love purple is spiritual and yellow is abundance and also uh, what you call it um, sunshine ah, I feel the Sun is shining on us our energy has changed this one is sticking out so I'm taking that addiction codependency obsession and restraint possession and control um emotion block emotional block this is from the situation love oracle deck so apply to it uh, whether it's in romance or in general because i think they're very very general don't i think you're breaking of, uh, away from codependency or uh, you are learning to say no with codependent you are a very independent person uh, but a lot of people do yank on our chains as we can communicate like no other they want us to do the talking for them and you should teach the people that they have to learn to say no and so that you don't have to do it for them don't let your chains be yanked by anybody obsessions let people go that are obsessed and restraining you because you want freedom um, gemini because my experience with gemini is that they live by the sword they don't they cut away uh, anything that restrains them but they are loyal and they want to help as many people but remember gemini take your rest okay um keep those batteries loaded up don't let anybody drain you so um let go of restraint and let go of uh, 
uh, possessions and or people possessing you take back your control these are all keywords take what you resonates with you and um, uh, open up your solar plex like I said the angel or the fool is here with you let your inner child is out you have luck you have money you have love so open up your subconscious your heart and your solar plex believe and you will receive I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Take care, stay safe, and remember, um, um, uh, I'm back. So please become a member and share and like. I'm live on Wednesday on YouTube in the evening, Facebook in the morning, and Thursday morning on TikTok. Take care. Bye-bye.